the sweat dripping off my face. Holy hell. It's all over your shirt. Is it all over my shirt? <laughs> oh. Okay, we got runners. What's up guys, Mr. Grinley here. And here are my creatures. And on today's episode, we are doing part two for the Tropical Factory UK unboxing slash rehouse. So this is a rehouse video. And we have these beautiful teas right here. So one, two, three, four, five, five all together. Again, I don't know if that says times three or not, but I've not opened it up and I'm not gonna open it up until we actually do the rehouse for it. He's not telling me what it is, because it's a bonus. So. I've got five tanks set up. So we've got the Gramostola Paul Krups tank. We also have the Lassadoria Para Havana tank. We have the Marshelli tank, can't say the first bit. And then we have the Samopoas Amernia tank. And then I'm assuming that's a sling in there or a juvie. So I've done a tank that I thought might be all right for it. If it's not, I will rehouse it at a later date. So, we're gonna get down to the rehouse table now. I'm just gonna pack this chair away just so we have a bit of movement in the room. And we're gonna start with the Grammar's Total Pole Cripes. Let's get down to the table. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Grammar's Total Pole, pole Cripes. First, I need to fill up the water dish though. Two hours later. Okay, right, so the ground soda pole cribs. So this has molted about a week and a half ago. Um, he did say it will need feeding at some stage. Hopefully all these teas are alive. I'm really, really hoping they are. Okay. So it's looking that way. So the Chaco Gold and the No hair kicking, nothing. She is an absolute stunner. Look at that. You are gonna love your new home, aren't you? Right, so, Chaco Golden Knee, Grammar Solar Pole Cripes is done. Nice and easy to start with. Gonna put the enclosure lid back on. Oh, if I can get it on. Oh my God. So up next we have the C. Marshelli, which I can already see just here. So that looks alive to me. I'm a bit worried about this one, I'm not gonna lie. I've heard many, many bad things about them. Not bad things, but like, oh my God, I hate these lids. Okay, so, sorry, just to talk about this tank to start with. So, I know with fossorials, you don't need cork bark. You don't need them to dig, like, they just dig down naturally. This one, I wanted to give it a little bit of a cork bark to see if it will dig down in it. And obviously, Tropical Factory gave this little bit of cork bark, so I want to put it to use. So, we are going to see... Oh, 
look at you. You are stunning. Don't know how the fuck I'm getting you out, but... Oh, probably just gonna have to nudge it from behind, didn't I? Oh, Okay, this girl's being a bit stubborn, so I'm gonna just take the tissue out with it. Okay, you obviously want this bit of plastic, don't you? You are not letting go. Why will you not let go? Okay, I'm not gonna irritate this girl. Oh my god. We are I've tried to nudge her, she's not having it, so I'm gonna let her stay on the tissue for a minute and we will come back to this, see if she's come off. Because even if I pick the tissue up like this, she's not she's just not interested. She just does not want to come off. So we're gonna leave her for a minute. But look at that horn. Absolutely stunning. <clears throat> okay, right, I'm gonna put the uh, the lid on. Okay, so up next we have the Piamernia. So the tank I'm putting it inside is this. So, I think that's a pretty sweet little arboreal tank. And I've got it fallout themed as well so I've got the little green super mutant I've got the power armor and I've got dog meat in there look at that alright so let's rehouse this one I really dislike these lids not really really bad but I must say they're a lot better than them ones where they're right around the lip the only dodgy thing is I don't know where the hell she is I don't know what way she's facing Okay, she's on it already. Look at that. Absolutely stunning female. Look at that bum. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna let her have the tissue for a bit and I'll come back and grab that one as well because these are very, very jumpy and very defensive as well. She will come off this in her own time. I'm not gonna aggravate her to get off at all. So when she decides to, you know, travel around the core bark up here, anywhere else, I'll take the lid off and I'll capture it. I will record me, uh, I will record myself doing it as well, guys, so don't worry about that. Same with the Marshelli. Right, so I'm gonna put this lid back on. Right. right, on to the next. So, up next, we are gonna do the Lassadoria last because she is the biggest, and I'm excited to do the Lassadoria, but I am gonna leave that one last. But first, we are gonna do the bonus, which I have no idea what the hell it is. Don't know what that means. Who knows, let's have a look. So, he sort of said, the, the only details he, he gave me was like sort of terrestrial slash fossorial and I've opened up inside and it 
it looks pretty small, so I think this is an enclosure fine for it. So, <clears throat> it's got a bit of dirt here. I'm gonna mist it down quick. I do need a water dish as well, don't I? So, go back to one of Jaden's special water dishes. Fill this bad boy up. So yeah, I've put a bit of the cork bark that he gave me in there as a sort of little hide that he can he can dig in or she or whatever the hell it is. For all I know, it could be like I don't know. Who knows? I don't know what the hell that is inside. Um, okay, so let's pull this out. I don't know what's inside. This is like... I just don't even know. How does one open a tube like this? Be alright if I knew what it was. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. No way. <clears throat> it's three Balfouris. Okay, we got runners. One's there, one's there. I'm gonna capture this one quick. Right, two in the corners are fine, it's fine. Okay, I've got three T's that have ran right now. Okay, all right. Just keep an eye on the rehouse table for me, please. At all three corners. Okay, I did not expect there to be three Balfouris in there. Okay. Where's my other pair of tweezers just gone? One eternity later. Right, sorry guys, so far the surprise was three Balfouris. I was not expecting when I opened that tissue up that all three are just going to do runners. So we've captured one, another one, we've got one left. Let's try to capture this one, we'll try to record this one. Sorry, I needed both hands on deck because that was absolutely insane. So let's try to get this one now. Where's it gone? Just walking along. Oh my god, how do I catch something that's already on a pot? Use a smaller pot. Boom. All three Balfouris captured. Now I've got to try getting back in the pot. Right, let's try. Holy cow. Now I wish I didn't miss that uh, substrate, but it will dry out. 
I'm dripping in sweat, guys. Honestly, I'm dripping in sweat. Woo! Holy... F I, I don't know how we're going to keep these in. To be quite honest. Um, where's the lid? It's just getting them to stay in here. Which is going to be the challenge. So, rookie mistake there. I thought the bow for already left the part, and as I pulled it, the back light sort of leg or front leg was like still attached, and then it fell a short distance. But as you can see, the T is fine. And these things do happen, which is why I leave it in my videos for you guys to see. May get hate for it, but you know. Stay in the pot. That's it. Can you stay there, please, for me, please? Please. Please. Jesus. Holy hell guys, oh my god. Three Balfouris and they are a good size. Woo. Can you see the drip, the sweat dripping off my face? Holy hell. It's all over your shirt. Is it all over my shirt? <laughs> oh, it's hot enough as it is already in it, but. Oh my god. Cheers Tropical Factory, cheers my check. You know I love Balfouris, but that, I just really, uh, actually I can't say because this, this video isn't out yet, but when you see this video, which I'm pointing there, but it's not actually there, but it is, that, that is nothing compared to one of that, well actually, I think they were both as bad, but, oh, okay, last, the last Adoria, let's do it. Okay, up next, well, Last, actually, we have the LP. So, let's uh, move that back a little. Let's open this up. Leave the big one till last. I don't know really where I should put the part, to be quite honest. Up there. Kitchen roll. She is a stunner. Look at that, people. Look at that. What a beast. Whew. Okay, so these are known to kick hairs. Oh, you're coming out on your own? Come on. That's it. That's it, girl. 
That's it, girl. Come on. Don't make me need to. Yep, she's coming out on her own. That's it, girl. Come on. A little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna stick a glove on while I take this box out, just in case she does kick some hairs, which she hasn't. All right, let's get a few close-ups to this girl, eh? Hello, you absolute stunner. Look at you. Going for a little wonder. So Charlotte has designed this tank. Um, Charlotte's very into her, her elephants. And she did make it a cool ass little hide here. Look at that. So she did make a burrow underneath that court bark. And as you can see, guys, there is plenty of substrate. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid on this and then I'm going to set my chair back up. Whew. I'm still uh, sweating one out from there. What's it called? Oh, I do hate these lids. So, we did customize this lid. We didn't do the best job with the silicon, I know, but it is very stable. It's better than having a mesh top lid because their mesh top lids are a pain in the ass. So, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna set up the, uh, I'm gonna set up the chair, guys. Right. So she is currently just down there. So I'm going to attempt to get this out now. Like I said, I would show you guys. Right, let's put this lid back on. That's one down. Right, so we got the Marshelli next. She's already webbed her tissue to the fucking floor. that Let's cut that bit of web you actually keep, can see the sweat going through my top and you can probably see on my face I'm still all sweaty I feel disgusting I feel like I'm caked and just I feel like I've been out in the rain to be quite honest and um yeah well, I don't know why I'm out of breath to be honest right so that is the rehouse from Tropical Factory UK again Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. That was awesome. I love rehousing them. Craig would be super proud of me right now. But guys, that is it. If you haven't already, like I said, go check out Tropical Factory UK. The link will be in the description down below. Mr. Grinland's done it. So are my creatures. I'm now gonna go stand outside and just strip myself, to be quite honest. Because, whew. That was nutty. Alright, peace guys. Yeah.